I'm on my way to pick up my car from an oil change. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about reverse osmosis filters and why I think most people these days might want to buy one. So to start off, tap water should be pretty safe these days. Like the processes that it goes through to be filtered and purified. Um, I mean, it's all chemically treated, which, you know, is questionable. Most of it has chlorine and or fluoride in it. Um, I'm not a chemist, so I don't know if it's fluoride or fluorine. I know there's some, I've seen some comments online debating that. Anyway, the point is, at least both of those uh, are in tap water, used to treat tap water. And in addition to that, there are things like pharmaceuticals that are leaking into waterways and water supplies, not just, I don't know, in the United States, but around the world. As you can see by the signage, I'm in South Korea. And the reason why I want to talk about reverse osmosis filters today is because a couple of things were happening. I used to have a water filter just a normal, I think like a two-stage carbon water filter machine or something like that at my house. And I was noticing that the water, even though it was filtered, it would smell like pond water or like still like, like sitting, sitting fresh water, like a lake or a pond or a river. And the Han River is the main water source for, for Seoul. And it smells a lot like that. And so I really wasn't liking that. So I ended up getting rid of the water filter and actually just boiling my water for a while. <clears throat> and boiling my water got rid of the smell and the taste, like the fresh water, kind of pond water taste. But it ended up making the water taste kind of like hydrogen peroxide. And so a lot of stuff started happening. I started getting these like really bad headaches. Um, I get migraines where I get this thing called an aura where it's, it's like I'm blind in the center of my, my vision. And so I started getting migraines a few months ago and decided that I need to do something about the, the water. I think my guess is that it was the water that was causing it. And so I ended up getting a reverse osmosis filter. And there's something that I noticed afterwards. So let's see if I can get this out safely with one hand. So this is my water bottle, stainless steel water bottle that I use every day for water. I don't use it for anything else. And what was happening when I was putting boiled water into my <clears throat> into my water what, what was happening when i was putting boiled water into my water bottle was that if i let it sit overnight the next morning it would taste a lot like just metal so it smelled like metal if i when i opened it and when i drank it it would taste like metal and something that I noticed is that now after switching to reverse osmosis, the day after, even if I leave my water in my water bottle overnight, there's no taste, no smell, no metallic taste, no smell. It's just plain water. And what I think is going on is that I suspect that the trace amounts of chlorine in the tap water that are used to purify it is actually oxidizing the stainless steel on a microscopic level, like very little overnight. It's not like it's causing my stainless steel water bottle to oxidize, but it's enough to put a noticeable taste and smell of stainless steel or just steel iron into my water in the morning, which is not a good thing. And so what am I trying to say? 
<clears throat> so after switching there's to reverse osmosis there's no taste there's none of this metallic stuff even if i leave my water in the water bottle overnight and the other thing is that in south korea at least i'll try to put up put up a an article or two here but there's been unusually high levels of Viagra detected in tap water. So I don't know if, if, if tap water supply companies test for pharmaceuticals often. I don't know if they test for multiple kinds of pharmaceuticals, but what I know is that at least in Seoul, South Korea, Viagra has been detected at alarmingly high levels in the tap water. And from what I've read online, just normal carbon filters, Brita filters, or even some other nicer filters, they won't do anything to get the pharmaceuticals out. But the reverse osmosis filter is supposed to get like something like 99% of contaminants and even minerals and stuff like that out to the extent where some people say you need to add minerals to the water afterwards. And so, yeah, I mean, after switching to the reverse osmosis water, my headaches, migraines have completely gone away. Uh, so I suspect it was something in the water that I was sensitive to. I'm not saying everybody is sensitive to it. But also, I don't know what the long-term ramifications would be, long-term health effects would be to consuming water that's got whatever kind of concentration of chlorine or fluoride or any other kind of stuff like that, or, you know, pharmaceuticals that got into the water. Just know what the, don't know what the long-term effects would be. And so, you know, I, I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm just trying to explain my personal experience with this. And I think that we all need clean water to drink. So just something you might want to consider. <clears throat> but with that, I pose the question, have you guys ever tried a reverse osmosis filter or any other kind of water filter? I know there's like a couple different big brands and stuff like that. Um, and if you have tried it, have you noticed any difference in the taste of the water or how you feel after drinking it? Like, because I've noticed a huge difference and I definitely would recommend getting a reverse osmosis filter. And I know that like chlorine and other stuff in the water isn't acutely toxic uh, in the amount present in the water. But I just, I know that my water was tasting like hydrogen peroxide before. And then if I boiled, it was tasting like hydrogen peroxide. If I didn't boil it, or even sometimes, well, if I didn't boil it, and even if it was filtered in a non-reverse osmosis filter, it would taste like pond water. So just wanted to see what everyone else thinks out there. Um, another thing to note is, you know, different water supply lines have different effects on the water as well. So one thing that I don't like is in South Korea, at least in the building that I'm living in, all of the pipes are PVC. I think they're like a flexible kind of PVC. So I don't know if it's phthalates or if they have any bisphenol in it as well, but I know that they run the hot water through it as well. And it's just not, it's not, it just doesn't feel right to be consuming water every day that's traveling through these pipes that have questionable questionable plasticizers in them and likewise you know in the united states the whole flint michigan the whole flint michigan water thing is is because the supply lines are basically old and made out of crap materials so yeah i just wanted to know what you think is it worth it to change to a is it worth it to change to a reverse osmosis filter? I'd say for me it was. For you though, 
you know, that's up for you to decide. But yeah, so just about to get my car. If you enjoyed this video, please, please leave a comment below. I'd really like to continue this conversation and see what other people think about filter, water filters, water contaminants. Are you worried about this? Are you not worried about this? Should everybody be worried about it? Should pregnant people or people who are women who are trying to get pregnant, couples that are trying to have a baby, do you think they should worry about it? Yeah, so thanks so much. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.